guys, before this video gets started, I forgot to mention that in terms of life skilling, you want to make sure to do life skilling on an alt. Don't do it on your main character. How are we doing, guys? Welcome to episode one of the Life Skilling Foundations, where we're going to talk about the very basics of life skilling. We're going to talk about how to be upgrading our contribution points as fast as possible, what contribution points are, what you're going to use them for, and a basic node empire to get yourself started to be able to self-sustain your workers and to be able to craft and upgrade alchemy stones, which will require nodes specifically to gear towards alchemy. But we're also going to throw a couple of cooking nodes in there as well. If you want a processing empire, it's going to look slightly different than what I'm about to show you here. However, there will be some important key processing items in this node empire as well. So stay tuned to find out what those are going to be. But the very first thing I'd recommend anyone to do before you start anything is go to the central market, come down here to armor, come down here to functional clothes. You want to try to buy yourself plus three cooking clothes. You can try to make it yourself if you want, but it's a bit of a headache. So if you just save up the money, I'd recommend getting yourself plus three cooking clothes, plus three um, craftsmanship clothes. There's probably not going to be any of these listed because the price is very low. So plus two is actually not that bad. I've only got a plus two myself. Even plus one isn't terrible, but definitely pick that one up as well. It's going to help you in the future. Um, the next one is going to be gathering clothes. Um, plus two is probably more than enough if you're in a guild. Plus one might also be enough just to give you an extra bit of gathering skill. So you don't have to worry about maxing out through eating foods or having elixirs. So the next one is a really, really important one. It's alchemy clothes. As you can see right now, there's none on the market. But put some pre-orders down on base plus one, plus two, plus three. Whichever ones you get. So let's say the first one you get is a plus two. Just take your pre-orders off the plus one on the base and start wearing that plus two. And then until eventually someone puts a plus three on the market, you will see some alchemy plus threes hit the market. And this price will be going up soon on EU. And finally, farmer's clothes is another one that is completely sold out. So again, do the same thing. Put a pre-order down on the regular, the plus one, plus two, plus three. As you get them, take pre-orders off. And then when you finally get your plus three, you can sell all your other clothes and don't worry about it. You can also craft these clothes, but you'll need certain nodes that we'll touch on later. But once you've got these pre-orders down, the next thing you want to probably put a couple of pre-orders on, if you wish, would be some cooking utensils. So if you come over here, you want advanced alchemy tool and advanced cooking utensil. Get yourself a couple of these pre-ordered. But what I'd recommend in the long term is if you do get a couple off the market, that's great. But in the long term, I'd recommend crafting your own. And that's going to be one of the first things that we are going to unlock in our node empire is the ability to craft these stations. However, just before we have the ability to craft these stations, we want to stock up on some resources first. So if you open your map and you come up to Velia, there is one important thing to note. What I'm going to be showing you is how to do your node empire remotely which means you need a value pack to be able to do this. If you don't have a value pack, you can still do what I'm telling you, but you physically have to take your character to the node to be able to set up your worker empire. So the first two nodes you're going to unlock is Bartali Farm to grab yourself chicken meat production and potato farming. And the next one you're going to pick up is Finto Farm and you're going to grab yourself chicken meat production again and potato farming. This will give you some base products to be able to make some food for your worker empires and to power level your contribution points. The way you unlock nodes, let's say I was, telling you, I was to tell you to get Forest of Plunder. You go to node management, you press A on invest contribution, and then you press A on the node itself. Now you can see here, it's taken away two of my contribution points and it's giving me this node. It's highlighted this node, it's unlocked. I have, um, got the gathering node unlocked as well so if i press a on it again and go to manage worker i can now send a worker to this node if i wish and he will start farming it but we don't want forest to plunder so we're gonna withdraw our contribution get our contribution points back 
and we're going to come back here so like i said you want finto farm and you want um sorry finto farm and you want bartali farm once you've got these two unlocked here uh the next thing i'd recommend is go into velia go into manage crafting at the top here you want to go to goals lodging and grab all three of these lodgings over here you'll need a couple of contribution points not that many you'll need two contribution points for this one you'll need two contribution points for this one and two for this one so there's six more contribution points and you can get yourself a couple of workers set up over here and this will allow you to hire workers to be able to send them to your nodes now to hire workers you're going to want to be in velia when you set these up and once you're in velia you're going to press down on the d-pad so once you press down you get this find npc worker over here you're going to press left trick uh, left bumper and right bumper to find the find npc worker you'll press right trigger and this will take you to the closest um, work supervisor that is available <clears throat> So you can see the hider one is over here, but obviously you'll be in Velia for this section here and you'll be hiring workers in Velia. Now you want to contract workers. You want to press A to confirm and then you press X to view for another worker. Every time you press X to view another worker is going to cost you five energy. And what you want to get at the beginning is blue workers. So you're just going to keep pressing X until you find yourself some blue workers. It usually doesn't take this many so you can see here we've got a blue skilled giant worker giants are good for tending farms but for potatoes and chickens if you can manage to get yourself oh that's a really good one right there if you can manage to get yourself a yellow one that's fantastic but a blue um a blue goblin is really good to pick up as well i'm actually just going to buy this guy since he's pretty cheap just make sure you got a couple hundred thousand in your just say let's just say a million in your inventory just in case a artisan worker pops up and then you just hire your worker and now i've got this worker available in heidel city for you guys it would be in velia and then you're going to send off your worker to be able to grab these nodes over here now the next important part is let's say you want to have this node unlocked ancient stone chamber you will need to unlock the connecting nodes so you have to unlock tuskelly farm first then this one then it allows you to unlock ancient stone chamber and then you can send a worker there so that's the basics of getting your nodes so once you've got your workers here and you've sent them off and they're getting potatoes and they're getting chicken your next set of contribution points i'd recommend coming to glitch um, again you're going to go to manage crafting you're going to go to goal over here and now we're looking for a tool workshop you can see these are the two tool workshops available i would pick up both these are going to be very important later on because they're going to allow you to make your own stations for cooking and alchemy so you don't have to buy them off the central market now at the beginning if you haven't got any notes um, i would recommend just buying your blackstone powder and your iron shards or regular iron and process slash process the iron through melt melting to get your iron shards and these last two here you're probably going to have to gather yourself because they don't go on the market that often if you just grab yourself an axe and you go hit any tree you will get logs you will take those logs go to your processing table go to chopping put 10 logs in chop them and that will give you some scantling and for polished stone you have to get rough stone with a pickaxe um, you hit some rocks you get some rough stone you go to the processing menu you select grinding and that will give you polished stone the best place to get rough stone by far is pilgrim's haven it is pretty far away but i'd recommend just coming up here taking the taking a character up here using all your energy getting as much rough stone as you can and then trekking back all the way to glish and popping in glish after you grind it down so now you're able to make your own crafting stations you've got your basic nodes set up and now we can go into making your own beer and bird meat so you've got um, as you can see here, I've already got some base materials ready to make a 900 craft of beer or bird meat. You'll need 4,500 wheat or potatoes or corn or sweet potatoes and 1,800 chicken meat. With, If you're going to make both, you're going to need two advanced cooking utensils, but this will be enough to take 
the position of one advanced cooking utensil. The next thing you're gonna to need to do once you've got your base product is go to your closest cook. Again, if you open world map, you press down on the D-pad and you come to this chicken symbol here, cooking. This will take you to your nearest cook NPC. And once you get to this cook NPC, if you want to craft beer, you have to go to the shop for a 900 batch of beer. You're gonna need 900 sugar and you're gonna need 1,800 leveling agent. And you're gonna need 5,400 mineral water. And this will give us enough to be able to make a full 900 batch of beer. The next item I'd recommend you picking up, well, for the next item that I recommended, which was the chicken meat, um, the items you will need to make a 900 batch of chicken meat is 900 salt, 5,400 deep frying oil, and 1,800 cooking wine. So I'm a little bit over encumbered, which you don't want to be. But then the next thing you're gonna to need to do once you've got all these items is just unlock a house. I've got a house in Velia as well as a house in Glish. So again, purchase houses. Your goal this time is gonna be a residence. And then this lists all the residents that is available to grab. Grab whichever one you want. You just click on it, click on residence, unlock it. And then you can see there's a little arrow pointing to which house that is. You would have to go to that house to be able to access the residence. Now, my one is a little house right next to the central market in Heidel, which is over here. Now, if we come inside, you press up on the D pads. I'm just going to pick up this alchemy tool by clicking and pressing X and place down a cooking utensil. It doesn't matter which way around it is. If this bugs you, you can put it the right way around, but right now it's the wrong way around. And I've got too many materials here, so I'm just gonna drop 2,000 of these. There we go. So for the chicken, if we were to put the bird meat, the salt, the cooking wine, and the deep frying oil, you just click A on all these items, press Y to confirm. You want two chicken meat, you want two cooking wine, and six deep fr frying oil with one salt. Press Y multiple times, press A, press O, press Y. And now you'll start cooking. So the cooking clothes that you've hopefully picked up at this point, you definitely want equipped when you're doing your cooking. And you can see just one craft, I've already leveled up my cooking to beginner one. Another item that you can pick up as well from the central market is a life spirit stone, which will reduce your cooking time. Just click on this over here. And you can see here my cooking time is even faster now. And if you want your cooking time to be even faster than that, you can pick up some Tef sandwiches, which I don't have on me. But if you just go to the market here and type in Tef, you can see here, this is actually not available, but 22,000 have been sold. There's only 70 pre-orders. It'll be pretty easy to pick up some Tef sandwiches and you'll be good to go. This will reduce your cooking time by a further 0.5 seconds. And if you want to really reduce your cooking, um, time even more there is a pro shop item that you can pick up you go to pro shop you go to outfits you go to costumes and you get the canopy you can see here that i think it's the canopy yep so this will reduce your cooking time by a further two seconds here but you don't need this so if you don't want to spend money that's fine honestly don't have to pick this up if you don't want to and you will keep doing this to get a specific byproduct, which is a dish with poorly prepared ingredients. You'll need batches of five to hand these in. So once I've got, I'd finish my 900 batch, I'll have a good amount of these dish with poorly ingredients. You'll be outside, click on this item here, and it will take you to the NPC, which you will find all the way over here in Alessandro Farm. I'll see you guys in a moment when I get over there. 
So we have reached the beekeeper. Once he gets the beaker, you can see here he only needs five. You give him five, and this gives you contribution XP. My contribution XP just barely went up at all because I am at soft cap, where getting more contribution points is really difficult. But earlier on in the game, small handings will actually give you good return on contribution points. And once he gets to about 300, well, even 200 to be honest, you don't have to go too hard on cooking anymore. But I would recommend getting 300 contribution points. Guys, the video has ended up being quite long, so I'm going to break this up further into another episode to talk about the Worker Empire, followed by another episode to talk about farming, followed by more advanced cooking and alchemy videos coming after that. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. But this video is going to end here. I hope you enjoyed.